Hello. Welcome to Teaching Tuesday. I'm Heather McGee. Today we're going to make watermelons. On the outside, it doesn't look very exciting, but if you look on the inside, I have a couple paper clips here I'm going to take off, you'll find out that you too can have your own slice of watermelon. Isn't that fun? Do you like watermelon? <laughs> it's a favorite in my family. We could eat lots of watermelon. So let me show you how to make these. For today's project, you're going to need three pieces each of green construction paper and red construction paper. Three of each. That's if you want to make a whole watermelon. You could do it with two of each, that would work. Or if you just want to make one piece of watermelon, you just need one of each. You'll need a glue stick, a pair of scissors, a pencil, and a black water base marker. And then some paper clips if you want to put your watermelon slices together into one whole watermelon. Are you ready to get started? All right, let's go. Start out with both pieces of paper. Put them together and fold them in half like a hamburger. Fold them in half hamburger wise and you're gonna push the fold down so it's nice and tight. Open it back up and you'll be able to see where it is that you've marked your paper. The wind is blowing, I'm losing things here. <laughs> Now with your scissors, you can cut both pieces together or you can do them separately, whatever works best for you. I'm gonna cut both of mine together along the fold. So just hold them together. Like I said, I'm outside and the wind is blowing, so my pieces of paper want to blow away. So you cut them in half. You have half a sheet of red, half a sheet of green in each pile. Now put both pieces of green together and both pieces of red together. They're going to be cut separately, the different sizes. For the next step to make your piece of watermelon, put your two pieces of green together, fold them long ways like a hot dog bun, and fold nice and tightly. They're both together. See that? Now the next part, we're gonna make that outer rind for your watermelon slice. Important, don't cut your fold. Don't cut the fold. Hold that fold in your hand. And with your scissors, we're gonna start at the, the folded corner here, and we're gonna fold, we're gonna cut towards the single edges. Do you see that? We're gonna cut towards the edges. So we're just gonna cut down. See how it kind of scoops down like a watermelon? You guys know what watermelon looks like. And then up to the other end. See that? So you have long pieces with the fold in the middle so it can stand up by itself. I have two of those. Put our scrap over here. Just tuck, tuck those off to the side because you're not gonna need them for a moment. Now take your two pieces of red fold them long ways, like hot dog bun also. See that? Hold on to the fold. Now you're gonna pick up your piece of green, put the fold from the green on top of the fold from the red. See how I've done that? The folds are together. With my pencil, I'm going to trace around trace around the curved edge of the green. You see that? Take the green away and there you have the pattern that you've used from the green. Now when you eat watermelon, is it red on the inside all the way to the outside? Is the outside of a watermelon green or red? Green, right. So if we cut on this line, 
it's going to be the same size as the green. We want our red to be smaller. So when we cut, we're going to cut further in, about a half inch on the inside of that. Now, if you'd like to, you can draw that in there so you know where it is. I'm just lightly putting a line in about half an inch away from that first line where, that I traced. You see that? There's another line right here. Hold on to the folded side of the paper and cut out the inside of your watermelon on the smaller line, the one that's on the inside towards the fold. Get rid of your scrap pieces. Now you have two pieces of red and two pieces of green. Let's separate those. They're stretched out here. Now at this, at this point, you can just put the red, slide it right over top of your green. You see what it's going to look like? It already looks like a piece of watermelon, doesn't it? Because the red is smaller than the green. You see the edge of green. That's the rind of the watermelon going around the outside. You're right, the next step is to glue them together. Take one piece of the red, do one at a time. Have my glue stick. Put the glue from around the edge. There we go. Take your green piece, you're going to put it right inside there. Fold the red right over top of it. And squish it down. We're going to let that dry for a moment while we do the other one. Okay, so I'm going to glue this one also. Glue the inside of the red. Like I said, the wind is kind of blowing a little bit, so I'm trying to hold things down so they don't blow away. Take your green piece and put it right on the fold inside the red and then squish it down because you want that to dry. You can even put both pieces together, squish them together. See that? Now you have two pieces of watermelon and they both stand up. But what's inside a watermelon? What's inside there? Yes, seeds. And if you've ever been hanging out with your brother or your sister or your cousins, you know that there are seeds. We used to spit them at each other. And sometimes they're kind of they're kind of slippery, so we would squish them really hard and they would bing and the seeds would pop away. We'd have contests to see how far we could pop those seeds to see if we could win. So we need to put some seeds in our watermelon. Take your brolic marker. And towards the rind, I'm going to leave a little space in here, and I'm just going to put some little oval black shapes. Leave some space between them, however much you'd like. If you look inside a watermelon, there's kind of a pattern but they differ from watermelon to watermelon. Once you have that row, then we're gonna move up a little bit and we're gonna put seeds in between, but further out. See, it makes a triangle like that. So we'll just put our seeds right in there. Flip it over and we'll do the same thing on the other side. Now we know that when we're making arts and crafts that they're not all of our projects are not the same as other people's. This is exactly the same way. Even one seed to the next is not going to look like the one you started out with. Once you get one piece done, go ahead and do your other one. It's nice to have watermelon to share. 
while it's tasty, it's hard to eat an entire watermelon all by yourself. So we're gonna make two pieces of watermelon here that we can share. Who would you share your watermelon with? I would have a hard time in my family because Kyla and Caitlin and Bill all love watermelon. I might even give them my piece and then they could eat that one too. They do love watermelon. Almost done. There. Got a little bit of marker on the back of my hand, but it'll wash off. Look at that. Two pieces of watermelon. See that? Looks good enough to eat. Should I eat it? Now that I have two pieces of watermelon, I'm going to put them together with the other pieces that I showed you earlier. However, the wind is blowing them back here, so give me just a moment and I'll get them. There we go. I've retrieved the pieces that fell off behind the behind the patio furniture. A little bit of dust on them there. Remember that I had paper clipped them together. Let me show you how I did that. Starting out, I have many pieces here. I have six pieces of watermelon. See this? See all those pieces of watermelon? I'm going to take two pieces and put the folds together so that your the rind part is together in the back. Take a paper clip and tuck it right on the top edge there. You may need help with this step. If you do, just get an older person to help you out, whether it's a parent or a grandparent, a bigger kid, it all works. So now I've got paper clips in there holding my watermelon together. You see that? If you'd like to, you can put another one on this end. It's totally up to you, however you want to hold those together. Now, if you glue them together, you're not going to be able to get them apart and you never see the cool watermelon thing that you did on the inside. So paper clips work really well for this. Just take another piece of your watermelon, folds together. You see the outside part there? You put a paper clip on the outside, one on the top, and one on the bottom. This is kind of a tricky project. You can, you can fool people with this because they won't know it looks like watermelon on the inside. There we go, put them together. So you can't see the pink on the outside. You can only see that on the inside. There we go. One in the middle, one on each end. That's four. See, I've got four. That's what I showed you earlier but I'm gonna keep adding pieces. Does it matter how many pieces you have in here? No, you could do more than six if you wanted to. For every two pieces of watermelon, you'll need another set of your red and green paper. You've got one more slice to put in here. See that? When you put it in, look, you can't see any of the that lovely red pink fruit that's on the inside. So if we put a paper clip on each one of these, you can really trick people. They won't know that there's watermelon in there. Your parents will come home and they'll say, what craft did you do today? It's like, oh, we made these green things that look like footballs. And they'll say, really? And you can trick them because they won't know. They won't know it's a watermelon. Look at all those paper clips I have on there. Makes it kind of heavy, but watermelons are heavy, aren't they? There, there's my watermelon. Oh, we just brought this home from the store. It's so heavy, but I love watermelon. What if we pretend to cut it open? Do you think, do you think that there will be something yummy inside? Watch, and then you can show the people that just came home, you take off one paper clip, Take off another paper clip, another one, and take them all off the edge there. And boop, you can cut your watermelon open and people can pretend to have a slice of watermelon. 
for a snack or for supper. I hope you had fun making watermelon with me today. I'm going to put this on the table tonight so I can try and trick my family. And they'll say, what are you making a green football thing for? And I'll say, it's a watermelon. You want to cut it and have a piece? Let me know if you have fun with yours too. I'll talk to you next week. Bye.